Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas with your neon flashing and your one on band that's crashing all those hopes down the drain. Oh, there, baby. It's been almost 30 years since I've been gone. Old school record style, baby. Anyway, since uh, my 30th anniversary of my, my death is uh, creeping up on me here on August 17th, a lot of fans have always been asking the questions, you know, Graceland must have been this, this great party scene. Well, next to my bathroom floor, there was really no party in there at all. Priscilla's always bitching about this and that. That's why I always had them other feline cats coming up in my room and give me a little bull job action there, baby. Anyhow, somebody was asking me, what was what was one crazy moment from, from Graceland that I could tell after, you know, 30 years of being gone? And the one thing that comes to mind was this night I had this this crazy party. I mean crazy. It was 68 or 70. I, I can't remember when, but my, my business manager and my, my travel manager, Joe Esposito, he, uh, that cat was with me for years, man, all the way back in the, 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 the 40s when I first started out, man, when I went over to Germany and did the zzz thing. Uh, not that I really saw any action because I was too busy entertaining the ladies and the troops. <laughs> anyway, uh, <sighs> A little uh, boogie there hanging. Anyhow, uh, somebody wanted me to, to, to you know, you, the fans always write to Priscilla and to, to my estate asking, uh, what was one of the craziest times I ever had at Graceland? And, and, and here's the story. Joe Esposito, the guy I already mentioned, he uh, he came over one night and he was all high on quelus. And man, this guy was crazy, man. He could down beer like, like, like Jack Daniels Distillery, man, just all the way down. Had no common sense either. He used to like to fuck animals when he was drunk. I never could get down with that, but teach his own little baby. Bestiality is in one man's treasure, another man's trash. You figure it out, mama. Anyhow, so I was saying, Joe Esposito, he's, he's a little taken back. He, he's a little wobbly, a little, I can't ice skate in the living room. So anyway, he uh, he says, yo man, uh, Elvis, I gotta go to the bathroom. I said, whoa, not the bathroom up there. That's mine, that's her, it's the fun stuff. Use the guest room to the right. That's a good bathroom over there, man. So anyway, uh, I go to that bathroom and uh, brush my teeth, right? Come downstairs and there's Joe Esposito taking a dump on my brand new carpet, man. I said, Joe, what you doing, brother? I said, man, you don't crap on a man's furniture. You don't crap on a man's rug. Dogs crap on rugs. Even dogs know to go outside and go out back and use the lawn. I always did have the greenest lawn. You know what he says to me? He says, Elvis. Man, I am sorry. I am T1 sorry, boss, because they, you know, they used to call me boss all the time. He says, sorry, boss. You know, but a dog's got to do what a dog's got to do. 